Black Lives Matter protest took place in Terre Haute this afternoon. It follows shooting of Jacob Blake. He's a black man shot seven times by police up in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Lindsay Jackson attended that demonstration, and she shares the message that protesters wanted to send to the community. Protesters gathered at the Vigo County Courthouse in support of the Black Lives Matter movement. Protesters called this week's march a local celebration after the Terre Haute Police Department announced they would be getting body cameras starting in November. But Eric Beverly, executive director of Change of Terre Haute, says they're still raising awareness about issues going on in the U.S. But we're also marching along for Black Lives Matter. Uh, definitely want justice for Breonna Taylor. Just recently, Jacob Blake shot in his back by police officer seven times while his children were in the vehicle. So yes, we are celebrating here locally, but we still have to address Black Lives Matter on a nationwide basis. The group marched from the Vigo County Courthouse down to the Terre Haute Police Department on Wabash Avenue. Sister Barbara Batista of Sisters of Providence says working together is important in the fight for equality. The more I understand the movement for justice, for true justice, the racism within this country, the systemic racism, as Father Massengale says, it's a soul sickness. It's, it's not just myself and my attitude. It's a system that is built to protect white people and protect power. That has to be broken down. Beverly says he wants to spark change, and he believes he must start in his own community. Just trying to lead by example. We need leadership. We need uh, more black men to step up and want to be leaders in their community. Um, just be there to help out. That's all we need, just unity. And we need everybody, no matter the color of your race. It's going to take all of us to stand up and fight evil. With local news that matters, I'm Lindsey Jackson, WTWO.